Hello there. I'm delighted to be joining you today to chat through healthy tips and ideas for back to school lunch boxes. Now I know this year it's been an extra long time since any of us have had to prepare a school lunch box and I'm sure we're all really excited and looking forward to a little bit of normality and our children going back to school but then we may be dreading that the school lunch box and depending on how many you're preparing in the morning sometimes they can be a real headache for parents so i just want to kind of take some of the stress out of it and just give you a few ideas to help you come up with varied and interesting lunch boxes that your children will enjoy eating but most importantly will provide them with the nutrition that they need at this important part of the school day so just to keep in mind, it is just one meal in the day, so it's very important that you think about what you're topping and tailing the school lunch with. So of course, we always encourage a breakfast in the morning. So it's a great idea that you would have time and make time in the morning um, for a good breakfast. So that would be including some maybe toast or cereal, some milk or yogurt or fresh fruit, something that's going to set your child up for the day. Then when we get to coming home from school, a lot of children like an after school snack and then of course dinner again in the evening time. So for what's going to go in that lunch box, remember that really we try to talk about foods in terms of groups of foods and that gives us a good way of putting together the kinds of foods that we need and that are providing us with a good range of nutrition. So if you are familiar with the food pyramid or maybe different groups of foods, you'll be very familiar with the importance of fruit and vegetables and I think this can't be really um, overstated enough. So really try and include some fruit and vegetable or certainly just one or the other in the school lunchbox every day. And you can see that the array of lunches that I have here is really, really colourful and that's why we often talk about eating a rainbow. So trying to get all of that colour in there, lots of fibre, lots of vitamins and minerals, really important for your growing child. So it doesn't matter whether it's fruit or vegetables. You can see here I have lots of crunchy raw vegetables that children tend to prefer. Um, very often they prefer the crunch rather than the softer texture. So we have celery sticks, I have cucumber, carrot sticks, cherry tomatoes, lots of ideas, maybe sliced pepper are really popular. And again, in terms of size and portion, you know, this is a fabulous kind of lunchbox size banana because sometimes bananas can be almost twice as long. They don't fit in the lunchbox and then they're kind of not in great shape when it comes to lunchtime. So keep that in mind, portion size, um, going for the small easy peel oranges as well. The teachers will thank you if the child can peel the, their orange themselves. Now the next food group is the cereal group and this is where we get our energy from. So we're talking about what you're making, maybe a roll or a sandwich being the most popular. So bread and also of course here, rolls are included, wraps, pasta, rice, and cereals. These are all important foods for energy that your child will help keep them going and keep them working and studying during the day. So you can see here I have some little mini brown rolls. Again, a great portion size for a lunch box. Um, I have some wraps here, some pasta. If you have some pasta left over from the night before, it's a great idea to maybe add a little bit of pesto mixed in with this here and a great snack that children might like to bring a little food flask into school. Certainly I know they're very popular in my house. So that would be important, these foods contain fibre, so ideally go for the brown varieties as your child is getting a little bit older, encourage them to eat more of the high fibre varieties and they're really important for gut health as well. The next group then we talk about is the dairy foods and these are really important as we all know for bone health and for calcium, they're packed full of B vitamins and lots of other nutrition and protein is really important here as well for growth. So what we're talking about here are milk and cheese and yogurt. I've got a rice pudding in here as well with some dried fruit on top and some cream cheese with the carrot sticks there. Um, obviously I have these lovely little milk bottles. We won't be popping one a, a bottle into the bottom of the school bag, um, but if, if your school are in the EU school milk scheme, your child can avail of a um, really subsidized portion of school milk every day. So that's a great idea if your school is in the school milk scheme. And if they're not, or if you inquire about it, um, do contact the National Dairy Council because they provide a free fridge to schools to keep the milk really nice and cold and we all know how nice it is to have a cold glass of milk during the day. So that's a great idea, that would be one portion of your child's calcium needs. And up in primary school, children up until the age of nine need three servings a day from the dairy group and that increases between the ages of nine to 18 to five servings a day. So think of cheese, yogurt and milk and um, when it comes to school lunches. I have some cheese and crackers here, yogurt, I've put that in a little tub with some berries. And again, the yogurt cartons for younger children might be a little bit hard to manage. So do keep in mind how easy it is for children as well to open and eat their lunch. 
Um, the last group then that we talk about is the protein group and this is very important for the for growth again for children and protein is also a really good nutri nutrient for helping to keep us feeling more full and more satisfied. So in your lunch um, try and include some protein foods that could be a cheese roll as we have here, we have eggs, lean meat, lean chicken or fish, maybe a tuna fish sandwich. Um, for vegetarians then um, I have some chickpeas here so peas and beans and lentils are great sources of protein as well. So there's lots on offer, you know, obviously every child will have a different preference. I would suggest you get them involved in making their own lunches from a really early age. And we know from evidence that children who are involved in preparing foods are more likely to try it and to eat it. And we all would prefer to see an empty school lunchbox coming home in the school bag rather than one with everything that you've prepared still inside. So there's lots of ideas here. Um, best of luck with it. And I hope that we all get to enjoy a safe and healthy back to school this year.